the year for the Cornell Big Red. Looking for the game's first goal. Barrett in front, Barrett, and he scores in tight. Silky smooth hands by Cornell's leading goal scorer from a year ago. He goes up and over the glove hand of Taylor Joseph. And on the radio voice, and that's going back to the uh, early 2000s on a breakaway feed. Here comes Andreev in, trying to get Joseph to open the pass. He does. Andreev just slithered that one in as Cornell makes it. Two and play pulled free by the visitors as Wall sends it around the boards. Back the other way. It's a shorthanded break, a shot, and a goal. Jacob Hickey came sailing in from the left wing side. He was off to the races and couldn't get a shot away as that puck was rolling up on edge. Welsh with the hand off to Garrigan, moving in three on two. Back in front, shot, score! Welsh with the second short-handed goal of the game for the Lakers, and they tie this game at two. Malone unable to pitch it in deep. Now it squirts free, locked to the slot. Terrence fired, he scores! Just like that, the Big Red back out on top with two seconds left in the tower penalty. Karen's a light station as well. well. Mullen gonna track it down. He'll turn up the pressure of Maya, drive to the front. Joseph goes down, Mullen scores! Joseph went for the poke check, he came up empty and Mullen cashes in on the power play. Four on two. Cross ice, Karen's at the line, Andrea slowing down, hits the trailer, Karen's back in front, once, twice, they score! Joseph had a chance to get over there as that centering feed was whiffed on initially, but the loose puck. They got a four on two. Cross ice, Karen's at the line, Andrea slowing down, hits the trailer, Karen's back in front, once, twice, they score! Joseph had a chance to get over there as that centering feed was shot with attempts though. This may be what you were talking about earlier when you were saying, man, there's just not many shots on goal for an abysing. But they have attempted 33 shots, a shot here and a goal. The Big Red score on the power play. And they'll make it a 6-2 game as they get their third power and play. And him quickly rims it around. Out through center ice, LeBwilly will just hold it as the final seconds tick off the clock, the horn sounds. And the Big Red will put this one in the books as a 6-2.